Hi guys, today we're going to talk about plotting points in the first quadrant only. And there's not really an I can statement for this lesson because um, this should be reviewed. This is something you should already know, so we're just going to jog your memory here. So right here what you see, this grid, is quadrant one of the coordinate axis. Um, axes. And we're going to talk about all four eventually this year, but um, for now we're just going to talk about for this unit plotting in quadrant one where you'll see that all the numbers are positive. There are actually four quadrants that make up the coordinate axes. Quadrant one is here followed by two, three, and four, and I like to remember it by it makes a C for coordinate. Um, so wherever I start the C, that's one, then it goes into quadrant two, then three, then four. But for this lesson, as I said, we're just going to focus on the first quadrant. Down here, this line, and you've already talked about it in science as well, this is the x-axis. And this axis here is called the y-axis. And notice when I number them, okay, this here is the origin, but one is actually lined up with a line. Two is lined up with a line. It's not lined up in the spaces of the squares. It's lined up along the lines that form the squares. Same with on the y-axis. So the biggest mistake I see students making when they graph is they put those numbers in the middle and then that messes up where their points go. So do make sure that when you number a coordinate plane that the numbers for each um, space here is going by the line and not inside the square. Also, if you're going to n use a scale, you might want to start with two here, for example, then four, then six. Whatever you start with is what you need to go up by every time. So I can't start here with five and then go six, seven, eight. Can't do that. You got to go up by the same number every time. But for this lesson and for this unit, we're pretty much always going to go up by one. So, a point on the grid is called an ordered pair, and each point is designated by two numbers. The first number, and it's always in parentheses, represents the x value, and the second number will represent the y value. So the x value tells you how far to move to the right, and the y value tells you how far to move up. So, we always begin at the origin, as we mentioned, but you might want to, in your summaries, um, maybe sketch a real quick little um, coordinate plane so you can label the x and y axis and also the origin, which is 0, 0. Notice it's where the two lines meet, not inside a square, but that's 0, 0. We always begin there. So if we wanted to locate 3, 5, the first number, which is the x coordinate, tells me to go right three lines. And then the second one tells me to go up five lines. And I like to think of it as taking an elevator. So we're at a building that has a lot of elevators. And so I will take, I will be the dot, and I will walk over to elevator number three and ride it to the fifth floor. Once you've got your point plotted, you have to label it. For this lesson, we're going to label it with the ordered pairs, but you will see later on in class you might choose to use a variable to label your points. Let's try another one. What if we wanted to plot 5, 3? Well, this means I'd have to walk over to elevator 5 and go up 3, and then label my point. Notice that the points 3, 5 that we plotted first and 5, 3 are in different locations. This is because we have something, our, our um, coordinate pairs or ordered pairs, are, the order that I put the numbers in the parentheses matter. Okay, That's why it's called an ordered pair. Order matters. What if we wanted to plot 6, 8? This means I go over to the 6th elevator and ride it up to the 8th floor. 
and then label my point. If I wanted to plot 2, 9, I'd go over to the second elevator and ride it up to the ninth floor and then label my point. 11, 4 tells me to go over to the 11th elevator and ride it up to the fourth floor and then label my point. Zero five just tells me that I do not go left or right at all. I'm going to take the zero elevator and ride it up to the fifth floor right there and then label my point. Now nine zero is going to be different. I'm going to go to the ninth elevator, but I'm going to stay there. I'm not going up any floors. So I can plot it right on the x-axis. Now it's your turn. In the bottom half of your WSQ, because we set it up a little differently today, in the bottom half, I want you to draw an X and a Y axis and label them. Then label the numbers. And you're going to want to go up to at least 10 on both the X and the Y axis. And then plot these five points. Don't forget to label your point. We're done with this video. Pause the video, draw your coordinate plane, and plot the points. Don't forget to put a question at the bottom of the page.